guys, I'm gonna take the JLPT. I'm gonna do it. I'm so hyped. And four, here I come. Ah, no, never mind. Okay, the next time, next time, December, JLPT. And four, here I come. Ah, okay, this time, third time, lucky. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Yes, the JLPT for London has been cancelled again, which is a huge shame. It's the third time now. Um, and yeah, uh, back in the 2019, the, the very end of it, I decided that for the first time I was going to take the JLPT. And as luck would have it, <laughs> the next three have all been cancelled. <laughs> Of course, it can't be helped, so I can't exactly be that mad about it at all. Uh, but it does mean this is will now be the fourth time that I am trying to hype myself up to take this exam. Uh, so yeah, December 2021, here I come. <laughs> My original plan was in 2020 to take the N4 uh, in July, uh, and then July of this year I would try hopefully to pass N3 and then the next year after that maybe N2 I'm not sure but have hope I guess I was a little bit down about it it kind of feels like my plans are just being pushed further and further back um, and I know not everyone kind of rates the JLPT you know you don't need it to be able to get good at Japanese at all um, but I was using it as kind of um, a way to try and aim at something to keep my motivation going and it's just not happening <laughs> but Reen you may be thinking surely that means all this extra time you've been studying for the JLPT means you're really gonna pass that uh, N4 with flying colours to which I say I haven't been doing JLPT study, <laughs> not even a little bit. I joke about not doing the uh, any study for the JLPT exam, but you know I have been. I may not have been studying for that, but I have been studying. Uh, I have felt that I have improved over the last year, which you know that at the end of the day, that's uh, that's more important when you're trying to learn a language, really, not necessarily the whether you can take a test but whether you feel like you've gotten better at the skill that you're trying to acquire and as well as that I think I've improved my study technique like how I study I've been able to use so much more time doing study that I feel a bit more confident as to what works best and what is a bit of a waste of time so I you know looking on the positive side that means that when I do start JLPT study, uh, maybe I'll be I'll be more efficient at doing that. Uh, hopefully. Okay. New plan is that even though this time this third uh, test has been cancelled, um, I think I should properly start trying to study for the test. And who knows? Maybe by the time. December rolls around and if we are able to go and take the exam maybe just maybe I'll be able to apply for N3 maybe yeah I'm trying to stay positive about it I still have plenty of time uh, until the next exam whether it's in December or if it has to be delayed again possibly be able to continue the plans if I am able to take the N3 instead of N4 but if not still feel good that I was able to try for the N4 you know you never know so yeah I was a little bit bummed out when I got the email a week or two ago saying that the July 2021 JLPT in London has been cancelled um, but I'm trying to stay positive um, and keep on going with my studies so my plans have changed a little bit uh, again <laughs> uh, unfortunate but that's life uh, do let me know if you've been hoping to take the JLPT have you had to change some of your plans around or maybe 
uh, maybe where you are, the JLPT is still going to go ahead. I know that the December one, I think in Japan, they still had the JLPT. So some people have been able to take it. Uh, so let me, you know, let me know if uh, your plans haven't changed and you're still uh, dreading July coming around because you got to take that test. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Uh, good luck with your studies. I'll be getting on with mine and hopefully I'll see you next time.